What's good, it's Xavier from the Extra Trainer. Today's video is going to be a chest and bicep workout. I also touched on triceps, shoulders, and abs just because the following day I knew it wasn't going to be working out. And I wanted to just include those muscle groups since I was going to have a decent amount of time to recover. Now, outside of that, I'm going to open up with a quote. It comes from Abraham Lincoln, and that quote is, Good things may come to those who wait but only the things left by those who hustle. Now, the reason I want to open up with that quote is because I feel like a lot of times people leave things on the table in terms of accomplishments or just getting things done for the simple fact of instead of having ambition, they act like they're being patient when really they're just being lazy. So it could be working out, going for promotion, going back to school, different things of that nature. They'll find a way to put it off or delay it in terms of short-term instant gratification. So somebody may say they don't have time to work out but if you check their netflix account they spend hours on there watching netflix or hours on there playing video games or going to the club or they waste their money on materialistic things so the reason i want to open up with that is because today's video is going to be a little bit different uh just to add some personality to the channel i'm going to be talking about my top 50 animes now due to my work schedule i'm busy so i'm not uh watching any tv at so uh, whatsoever however I wanted to make this video because like, I have enjoyed some animes in the past. Some of the things on this list are ongoing series, but again, I really don't have time to watch TV, so I haven't been watching anime way before I was uh, into fitness as a kid. I was big into art. I wanted to be a graphic designer and make comic books, different things of that nature, just to give you guys some background about myself. At a certain point, I ended up... Uh, having a injury to my hand which kind of prevented me from pursuing that just because i don't draw as well as i used to i still might draw a little bit from time to time but that's neither here nor there outside of that there is going to be some controversy with this video so certain animes are not going to be on this list if i consider them too cliche or overrated so things like sword art not on the list death note stupid it's a waste of time uh it's a show where they try to make it seem like it's more intelligent and complicated than what it is and to me, highly overrated. Dragon Ball Z, not a fan of. As a kid, I would draw it because like when people figured out I could draw well, they would pay me to draw certain things. So that's definitely something that I've drawn in the past. There used to be a website called blackgoku.com and to do with uh, promote and showcase people's art, but it was under the premise that you drew Dragon Ball Z characters in a black formation. Now, the reason I don't like Dragon Ball Z is because to me, it's a lot of neo-Nazi symbolism hitler appeared in the dragon ball tv show and movies the red ribbon army is similar to like how the nazis were structured so for me it's not on my list that's a different topic for a different day uh, i know a lot of people don't feel that way but if you pay attention and you break it down and look at it from that regards you will see that also it's not just dragon ball z it's a lot of other shows that have a lack of black characters or if they do draw black characters they draw them in a super menstrual characterized way and i don't like that um now i say like it's other shows where they might omit minority characters entirely and it's um certain shows where if they draw them they draw them in a character way or a coon type way and kind of give them roles that are demeaning so that's neither here nor there we're going to try to keep it uh fun and exciting i'm just acknowledging some of the things that you might expect to see on this list will not be on this list so outside of that my top animes is going to be like full metal alchemist you have to show cowboy bebop s cry zetman these are all old school animes i will do a different video talking about my current uh top favorite animes and then a different video talking about like my overall favorites from back in the day up until now now with my list of top 50 it's going to be a little bit more than 50 um, and the reason for that was because I wrote it by hand and after I wrote it by hand I realized I needed to be able to copy and paste these names into uh, YouTube into the description for algorithm purposes so I just went on the website and clicked the list put it in reverse alphabetical order and just everything that was on my list I included if there were some things that I didn't have on my list I threw it in the list as well now outside of that we're just going to jump into the list so number one is Zetman Zetman is pretty much a show about superheroes in modern times. Like it takes place. I want to say the show came out like twenty years ago, but uh, I could be wrong about that. But pretty much, two people have superpowers. One's poor, one's rich. 
and at a certain point they start off as good friends at a certain point they kind of discover each other's identity and they clash you hacker show like i said the top of this is my all-time favorite just any shows where people have to go through things they're not being handed stuff and they actually have to go through a journey struggle develop relationships with friends fall out with people different things of that nature is going to be in my top 10 wolf's reign there's the idea of people searching for a paradise and searching for a better world something that i think we all could relate to rich hunter robin is another good one working the nhk is a decent one as well just because i feel like for people who don't understand what like introverts or people who don't quite fit into society go through that's like a good way of explaining it now um I myself, I consider myself an introvert, not to this extreme, just because I am personable and I have social skills and I talk to people when it makes sense. I'm just not an extrovert who's just talking to people for the sake of uh, filling the air with my voice. Pause. Now, outside of that, we have uh, Tokyo Magnitude, which is about um, an event that takes place in Japan after an earthquake. Tokyo Ghoul took me a little while to get into. And I had to rewatch it a couple of times. With well, the first episode a couple times to get past it. Seven Daily Sins comes on Netflix. I know a lot of people will debate if that's a anime or not. I put it on the list. The Promised Neverland was a decent one as well, just because in terms of the concepts and different things they included in that anime was something that you really don't get to see. Future Diaries again is another unique concept. Um, I'll put it on par with uh, the Garden of Eden or Eden of the East, just because. Of the similarities between the two, Disastrous Lights of Sasuke, again, is a, another Netflix thing. And I know a lot of times people don't like to include Netflix animes just because they don't consider it animes. Steingate was something that I found interesting as well just because the idea of people accidentally creating a time machine just because they BSing around in an apartment, passing time. Um, and then that, in fact, turns into them having a wild adventure that they couldn't anticipate was something I found uh, interesting outside of that just the growth and development the main character goes through when he has to take life serious and he has to save people that he loves over and over again because a lot of people aren't stand up like that and they wouldn't be able to withstand having to go through that just to save somebody they care about uh, Soul Eater is another decent one and the concept was unique to me uh, Space Dandy the show overall is kind of reminiscent of Cowboy Bebop when I found out that that was the same creator. That's one of the main reasons I watched it. It's a couple of different episodes where they touch on certain philosophies of life, even though it's the overall upbeat tone. There are certain things that they touch on. It's like an episode uh, with a dog, particularly. I can't remember what the episode was called, but that one really kind of was more philosophical than I would expect it to be for that particular style of anime. Um, Shaman Kings on there for nostalgic reasons. It's just something I used to watch as a kid. Shamar Tuplu is a owner for nostalgia reasons. It's a very good one as well. S Cry, similar to like the things of like Attack on Titan or you have to show where it's like somebody who is downtrodden, uh, underdog that you don't expect much from is the main hero of the story and is the person that is doing right while everybody else is doing wrong. Outside of that, Ruby Kenshin, uh, Psychopaths, another good one where it's like people are judged by society standards and as soon as you are viewed one way the whole of society as a collective will judge you and see you in that light um parasite was another decent one as well paranoia agent was also a pretty good one um one punch man was also a pretty decent one just in terms of uh overpowered superhero trying to live a regular life and having to constantly fight villains and have people test them even though it would to the average person uh, stand with reason that this person is like the alpha and the omega he's somebody that you really can't be bothered to beat or defeat just because of his superpowers but because he has such a plain Jane nature I think a lot of people test him now outside of that Nightwalker just an old anime used to come on either like G4 TV back in the day or I think at a certain point Comcast had like an anime network or On Demand was new like this show is probably something I watched like 15, 20 years ago Mob Psycho similar to One Punch Man where it's like somebody's just trying to live a everyday average playing life but because they have unique talents and powers that in itself is not going to allow them to have an ordinary life so outside of that you have Michiko and Hatchkin now with that 
it has like minority characters. That's the main reason I like it, just because it's centered around females for one, two, the scenery and people are designed uh, nicely, and that's something that I like. Penguin Drum was a unique one as well, just because it's something that you typically don't see. A lot of people don't know about that one. Loop in the third, mostly for nostalgic reasons, and just because it kind of stood the test of time with being reincarnated over and over again. Uh, Inuyasha, again, nostalgic reasons. High School of the Dead, it was a unique one as well, just dealing with zombies and high school kids and how they would have to deal with the world ending, especially with how the last episode ends. Hell Sing, Nostalgic Reasons, and some fan hype, one of my friends really liked that back in the day, so I used to watch it with them. Guilty Crown was a good one. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce this one, so I'm just going to throw it up on the screen. I want to say, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but we'll just throw it up on the screen. That one was interesting as well. Ghost in the Shell is another decent one. Um, Gatekeepers, Gangsters, another decent one. Full Metal Alchemist again goes on my list of all time favorites just because the philosophy behind it, the overall themes, and the journey that everybody goes through because everybody has to struggle, everybody has to grow in that show. It's not one sided where it's only focused on the main character. So I really appreciated that. Eden of the East is another unique one where it's like some dude is on an amazing journey. A girl gets roped up into it and from there they have to pretty much navigate the world similar to future diaries with other random people trying to kill them at different points in the show um durara another decent one just because i feel like that's how most gangs are formed like two people who don't really know each other are friends up until a certain point where because they both build up a certain type of culture and community behind them they can no longer be friends is something that started off innocent online turns into a catastrophe in real life. Demon Slayer, I feel like it's a unique twist on the, I don't know, I want to call it, I guess, better anime genre. Dead Man Wonderland is another decent one as well, just in terms of um, how the prison is monetized and people have to fight as if it's boxing or wrestling. Cowboy Bebop is a classic. That's something that gets replayed a lot. Case Closed is another nostalgic one. Um, Control. Is a decent one because it's a virtual world where you battle for money and it's similar to a stock exchange. Batum was a short one, but it's also a good one. Blue Exorcist was a unique one as well, just because in Blue Exorcist, uh, two twins on two completely different paths. One knows about a different type of world, the other one doesn't. It has to get introduced to it and catch up quickly. Um, Bleach is kind of overrated, but I still like it. Black Lagoon. Is something that I had to kind of let grow on me. Black Clover, again, is something that in the beginning I didn't like it, but over time I grew to like it. Ben 2 is another one that most people don't know about. Um, outside of that, Attack on Titan is another good one just because I feel like it kind of breaks down what's going on currently in society with all the divisions and the walls built up and having to break them down and kind of uncover some of the mysteries. It's not really a mystery because there are people who do know what's going on. Um, Aria the Scarlet Ammo was a decent one Angel Beast was another decent one just kind of dealing with the concept of life and death and what happens afterwards Afro Samurai was one I like just because it features um, Samuel L. Jackson and the main character never talked you only hear Samuel L. Jackson um, being the figment of the main character's imagination outside of that all of the Asserting series so like Asserting Magical Index a certain scientific um, accelerator and a certain scientific railgun. Now, I don't think I like the second season of the Magical Index one. The other shows are just still ongoing. I haven't watched completely. And then the last one is going to be 91 Days. Now, outside of that, I'm going to start breaking down like different rap songs I listen to, different artists while I listen to those artists while working out. Uh, probably like my top 50 Netflix series or Netflix TV shows, my top 50 like black movies, black sitcoms, different things of that nature just to add some personality to this channel. Now, for the time being, I'm not gonna really do any how-to videos. I know those are the most popular videos on my channel and the reason I'm not going to is because in this particular gym, the music in the background is always playing loud and it's loud to the point where even with a microphone, I would still have to yell in order to uh, be able to speak to you guys outside of that the other issue that I have is on YouTube and TikTok especially if there's any commercial music playing in the background they flag those videos and they push those videos down the algorithm 
So those videos get no views. Um, outside of that, Instagram and Facebook may do the same, but nine times out of 10, they eventually will allow me to post those videos without the sound being muted. But what happens is the sound gets muted on something, and if I'm not paying attention or don't realize it, then it could be months before I realize that that video is not getting views. And in addition to that, that there's no sound on that particular video. So I'm gonna get a different gym membership somewhere else where I can record. And I think that way I'll be able to post more how-to videos. Outside of that, I'm just gonna make a couple different videos showing you guys my personality. I already did my top 50 book reviews. I'm not really currently watching anime. A lot of these shows, if it's an ongoing series, I did not finish and I have not been keeping up with it. So if there are anything that's your favorite or anything that's overrated, make sure you leave it in the description or in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on my other social medias because anything that's not included in this particular video that I might have did that day will be on those different channels. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I got a podcast that I'm going to drop. I'm just going to drop the audio version on YouTube with a picture for the video so it won't actually be a video. And if there's anything else you want me to cover, let me know. I'm Xavier from DX The Trainer, and I'm out.